Welcome, family, friends, and special guests. We are gathered here today to celebrate the wedding of Carly and Scott. You have come here from nearby and from afar to share in the commitment they now make to one another to start their married life together, surrounded by the people dearest and most important to them. All right, to start off with, I want to share the reason why I'm making these vows and why, I mean, I'm marrying Carly. Um, I, like most people, I think have at times asked myself questions like, what's the meaning of life? What's my purpose? What should I be doing? What goal should I be pursuing? All those annoying questions you ask yourself that really don't have any official answer. I'm um, really exhausted myself thinking about those questions at times, and by far the closest I've ever come to coming up with an answer to those questions has been, try to make Carly happy. I had an idea this day was coming for quite a while. I have never seen my daughter so happy, and she has never been in such a great relationship. There's no place like home, no place like home. I watched my sister grow as a person into the woman she is today. She is wonderful and very uniquely herself. Someone with a big heart she wears on her sleeve, who's deeply passionate about the loved ones in her life, and who's always down for a good and relaxed time because so fun, as she would say. <laughs> I remember when we were on a family vacation and my husband Brian and I kept giving Carly crap because she was all smitten with her phone constantly throughout the weekend, gushing about this boy named Scott. So one of the things I've always been jealous of him on is that he dives in everything 110%. He finds a hobby, he finds something he wants to do and he dives in 110%. But in that same respect, that's how I knew Carly was somebody pretty amazing. Uh, as Maddie mentioned, Scott was, uh, Carly was always on her phone, which is something that means Scott was texting her. And before Carly, you couldn't get Scott on his phone. And that means it must be somebody important if Scott's willing to put in that time, to take that time to send that to somebody that he is so meaningful to him that he is like, I found somebody amazing. Texting her is all I want to do. Joyce and I soon found out what a good guy Scott is and how much he cares about our daughter. It was very apparent uh, one day last year when we were talking with Scott. He said he had something in, uh, important to ask us. He said he wanted to ask Carly to marry him and would that be all right with us? Well, of course, Joyce and I told him we thought it would be a great idea. Soon after, he came over many times to plan for his proposal. It had to be just right. He wanted our help to make it perfect. He hung lights on the patio, lighted a path to the backyard, had candles and champagne. Everything turned out wonderful. And I know it will be a night they will never forget. CJ, I love you the most. Scott, I know you're gonna make my daughter very happy. I love you guys. 
Oh my God, <laughs> you are so beautiful. You look so good, Dad. Oh, honey. <laughs> I'm trying not to oh cry. Oh my gosh. Oh, this turned out so good. You look so good. You are gorgeous. I love you. I love you, honey. On Memorial Weekend 2018, one particularly attractive young man caught Carly's eye. This was the moment that Carly and Scott first laid eyes on one another. Scott, I remember it like it was yesterday. Meeting you for the first time and thinking, wow, he's tall. <laughs> Our friends pushing us to talk to one another because we were too shy. Our first conversation we had, how easy it was to talk to you. Carly took Scott by the hand and led him to the bar. They shared a few drinks while their conversation became truly captivating. In that short time together, Scott and Carly clicked. They felt it and we all saw it. It still seems surreal that I landed a man like you. Never in my wildest dreams did I think I would get so lucky. I met this girl three years ago. We talked, exchanged numbers, smoothly transitioned to being boyfriend, girlfriend. And now I can stand up here with no reservations because I know how right it is for us to get married. And because of that by Carly giving me the chance to make her happy for the rest of her life, she's gonna make me happy for the rest of my life. There are a million things I love about you. Your constant drive to always be learning something new. Your capability of not saying a mean thing about anyone. Taking on the role of the best dog dad. The list could go on forever. But my favorite thing about you is your kindness. It's pure and it's constant. You would do anything for the people in your life and it's always with good intention. In pursuit of that goal, to make you happy forever. Um, I vow to do my best to shield and protect you from the bad things in life and bring as many good things in your life as I can. I vow to never forget how much better my life has become since I met you. I vow to do the best I can to be the guy that you always imagine yourself standing up here with and spending the rest of your life with your Prince Charming or Leonardo DiCaprio, whoever. I truly believe that everything that has happened in my life has led me to you. Things fell into place the way they should have to get me to this very spot. You are my person and I am yours. Today is the day I make my promises to you, the ones that I will forever keep. I promise to be your biggest cheerleader, your confidant, your best friend, to respect and support you and be your partner in life. I promise to always trust and value your opinions, even when we don't see eye to eye. I promise to not take ourselves too seriously, to sit back and know when to laugh. So I vow to uh, do all that I can to get you to see yourself the way I see you. Lastly, I vow to be the best person I can be for the rest of our lives and always be improving myself so that you can be excited about our relationship and uh, be proud of me being your husband. So Carly, you're the most amazing girl I've ever met. I actually wasn't too confident that I would meet a girl like you or a girl like you even existed. That was such a good fit for me. You're so caring, wonderfully goofy, crazy, um, funny. You're tough and vulnerable at the same time. Um, you're so incredibly loving towards me, your family, friends, our dog especially. Um, I'm so lucky to get to spend the rest of my life with you and I love you. I promise to love you for you and never dull your light. But mostly, I promise to choose you every day, not because I have to, but because I want to. Scott King, you are the one I want to binge watch The Office with forever. <laughs> you have my whole heart for my whole life. I love you. 
Scott, Carly. You have come here today of your own free will and in the presence of family and friends declared your love and commitment to each other and have given and received a ring to symbolize your promises. By the power of your love and commitment to each other, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Scott, can you kiss the